are on our way to Hatopia. Hatopia is in Paradise Springs, and Paradise Springs has quite the history. It was the getaway in the 1920s for the Hollywood elite and their celebrity friends, a parcel that Gloria Swanson later named Paradise Springs. Noah Beery was a well-known vaudevillian actor that made the transition to the silver screen in the 1920s. He became well-known as the villain in numerous silent movies. Wallace Beery, Noah's younger brother, also made a name for himself on Broadway and in several motion pictures. In 1931, he won a Best Actor Oscar for the movie The Champ. Noah Beery happened upon Paradise Springs while on a hunting trip in 1915. After pooling their resources and securing funds from other stars, including Charlie Chaplin, Will Rogers, Douglas Fairbanks, they made an offer for Paradise Springs. The hard partying actors had a vision. They wanted to turn the place into a hedonistic playground for themselves, their famous friends, and whoever else could afford the price of admission. The Beery brothers built an elegant ballroom along with 27 stone cabins, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, tennis courts, and 36 fish hatcheries. With a series of rock and mortar ponds, they stocked with one million rainbow trout. The Beery brothers unveiled their A-list getaway in the 1920s. In its heyday during Prohibition, Paradise Springs hosted up to a thousand guests each weekend, including Chaplin, Pickford, Kennedy, Swanson, Fairbanks, Jack Warner, Cecil B. DeMille, W.C. Fields, William Randolph Hearst, and his mistress Marion Davies. The camp was frequented by Greta Garbo, Mae West, among many others. The Beeries threw wild parties, brewed illegal hooch, gambled, hosted tennis tournaments, operated a cat house, and raised trout, which Noah sold to the Brown Derby restaurant and the Coconut Grove nightclub back in Los Angeles. Beery built himself a cabin overlooking the cascading ponds of Paradise Springs. He called the operation the Noah Beery Paradise Trout Club. Chaplin loved Paradise Springs and invested heavily into its operations and events. In 1938, a historic 50-year flood barreled through Paradise Springs and washed out approximately 80% of the camp, including many of its buildings and trout ponds. The Beery brothers went bankrupt in 1940, triggering the clause in the 1915 sales contract that returned ownership of the property to Louis Luckel. Decades after he went bankrupt, Paradise Springs pivoted to become a Christian camp, in stark contrast to its racy past. In December of 2017, Paradise Springs was sold to the French glamping company Hatopia. Hatopia Paradise Springs Village is high up in the San Gabriel Mountains, inside the protected Angeles National Forest. Check-in time at Hatopia is only at 4 p.m. You are allowed to come earlier and just enjoy the facilities and by the pool or the restaurant, but you will not be able to have your room until 4 p.m. There is a whole restaurant cafeteria there that's outside under beautiful shady trees while you do your check-in arrangements. When we originally booked for Hotopia, we booked for a two-person tent and we didn't notice that the location was different from the main activities where the pool is. I'm going to take you on a tour to show you the distance from the base camp to the upper camp sites where we would have stayed. It's a really long walk. Depends on you and how fit you are, I guess. We decided to take one of the two-bedroom units at the bottom. These are the other units. These campsites are also very nice. You are nestled more towards the top of the mountain. It is very hot in this area, so that is something to consider when coming to camp in this neighborhood. So this is 226, where we would have stayed. It is a nice unit. Let me see what it looks like inside. I don't think anybody's here, right? No. It's completely open. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is for two people. It is quite nice. We could have easily stayed in here, but we opted for a unit closer to where the pool and everything is. And you have the view of the mountain like that. It's quite nice. And there's your 
people that surround you here. It's a nice, it's actually a nice unit. I kind of like it up here actually. It does feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, which I guess it's the point of camping, right? And camping. You want a smaller unit? This is definitely a viable option. It's just a long walk down to base camp. And, uh, but you do have this, you have all this nature here. So this is Noah Beery's house, which was also known as Noah's Ark. It was one of the only places that was spared during the floods. And this is where Charlie Chaplin brought his mistresses. So as you can see, it's quite nice. Uh, you really feel like you're out in nature. It does get very hot. You can bring your dogs. And they have a nice little coffee shop, restaurant, and a fabulous pool. So the pool doesn't open until 10 a.m. I'm not quite sure why. There's the pool and it closes at 8 p.m. This is the bottom campground in Bear Country. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of what it looks like inside of the four to five person glamping tent. It has two rooms. As you can see, it has vaulted ceilings. And as you walk in, the room is divided in two. Here you have your main sleeping area, which has a nice little window so air can come through at night and you have these windows as well there's a little dining room area or living room area I should say and then over here you have the double bunk beds if you have kids and so on this window however does not open to the outside these do this is your kitchen and all food is stored in a bear box uh, it's a cooler box from Yeti and you have to use these to lock it because of the bear activity. This is the outside. You have a little place we can wash, a good little table and chairs, uh, a barbecue and of course we don't have a gate for our dogs here so we had to use the table the entire trip to close that area off and there's big gaps where dogs could escape from, something to keep in mind. It has a nice high vaulted ceiling so air can come through and it also has a fan so the air is moving through here. It can get hot in here, definitely can get hot. If I ever came again, I would bring a second uh, fan. This is your shower, bathroom. It's like a little unit, a box unit. It's very well thought out and designed. It has everything you could need, everything's well organized. And um, yeah, if you don't wanna bother with pitching a tent and you just wanna arrive and be in nature, see here are the other tents and they give you little trolleys which you bring your luggage back and forth with as the cars have to park off-site up there is the swimming pool area and here are the munchkins ready and roaring to go playing the ball where is it are you my kingdom for a ball mama